If you can believe it, I am still unpacking. But I know you want another video. And I've been waiting for the right sunshine to come through the Central Valley lighting and I'm just not going to get it. So I thought I would just do it with what I have. So I apologize for still being half, halfway unboxed. But I got a, a wig out of the box today from my little sister Chrissy. Glam Life Wig and Makeup Reviews here on YouTube. And she sent me another Mia by Tressa Lore in Mocha Gold. Right before I moved from the North Bay to the Central Valley, I did a review on Mia by Tressa Lore in English Tea that Denise Sheets sent me. So Denise sent me this one and my little sister sent me this one. So this is English Tea and this is Mocha Gold. And I don't think I showed the inside of the cap when I had it on in the last review. But one of the cool things is that the lace front, which goes way down into the ear tabs, which is really cool because it comes way down into the ear tabs, doesn't have a seam at all. There's no seam. So the lace front, it goes all the way back down into the crown, way back. So all of this is lace. There's no seam right there. So that's really, really neat. But these are two different, two different coming out of the box and they don't look anything like a really good manufacturer's photo. This time we actually get a really good manufacturer's photo. How does that look? It looks so good. But as talented as you say that I am, I cannot get that look out of this. The best that I can get is to flip it. So now the lace front is on this side, the lace monofilament lace side part. I haven't made a video in a while. I've lost the language. So it's just permatease right there. But I don't mind that. Because that's what real hair looks like that I see. So to me, this looks more like what we see in the manufacturer's photo, bringing this top layer of curl over to this side. This is just water. See if I can get this back up here and show you how does it look now. Better, more like the picture, but it's flipped. And the way that I can see this piece right here I would think what they've done is use some peace out cream. Mine is an old packaging because it lasts forever and it's getting dry. So I probably didn't get a, the cap on it and I've moved. So I get it on my fingers now and I just kind of wet it to kind of bring back the tackiness. But it looks like they've used a little bit of peace out cream on that piece right there in the front. And who knows? Maybe that picture is flipped too, and they've just actually flipped the picture in editing to bring it to look like this, because I think this looks more like that manufacturer's photo than what it really is when you do it the right way, where the 
laces on the left. I know everybody's been really loving it. It was like the sweetheart of 2017, 2017, 2019. But that's how I would get it to look more like what I wanted out of the picture. So really pretty. Maybe I'm too far away in the light. And I feel like these would actually stay out of my face for working all day. So I'll wear it to work on Monday and do check-ins on Instagram for you when I go back to work on Monday. Mogul Gold is really pretty. So you saw me flip the part on this one before I moved when I was packing. Now I'm unpacking. But these colors are really different. English tea, mocha gold. Yeah. So I've had quite a good time reading comments on all the videos that I posted all through 2019 and uh, made kind of a list of, of things and questions that um, I've gotten from a couple of different gals and if you want to message me directly, you can email me. My email address starts with the word email. It's email.dawn.ds at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook. I'm Dawn Stamper. Or you can find me on Instagram. I'm Daily Dazzle and Dawn. I'm also on Twitter, but I have uh, too many platforms plus a very busy job. I don't have time to do it all, but you can totally message me. Um, but I got to talking about age-appropriate wigs with a viewer and what makes an uh, age-appropriate wig. And I think this one with this color, mocha gold, is pretty flattering for anyone that's Caucasian, like me, that's in their late 50s, 60s, late 60s, maybe 70s. This one, yeah. The other one in English tea, I think is too dark. But let me show you what I'm gonna do with English tea, Mia by Tressa Lure. This is the one that I was showing in the last review, or the first review I did of this. So the lace is on this side. The monofilament lace part is on this side. This is the one that Denise Sheets gave me, but I just think that this is heavy and drags me down. So even if I flip the part to give that kind of, I think I got this too tight, there we go. To give what the manufactured photo look like. I'm gonna get this on here real straight. I got my wig grip on underneath. I got my hair all just down here in a low ponytail in the bottom. But I'm gonna cut this, modify this up. So I don't usually do this anymore, but when I got into my wig journey three, four years ago, when I watch um, Wigs by Julia, um, it reminds me of my wig journey. She's been having a lot of fun um, washing them, doing experiments on them, and, and I did a lot of that too, but I just don't do it anymore. I'm kind of phasing away from that kind of stuff and just trying to make them work with what I have because of time, mostly. But. I was also talking on Facebook this morning um, because someone had looked through my photographs and found me in a style that looked very natural, believable, 
and asked me what it was and how did I get it that way. And it was John Renault's Julianne, which I wore until it just couldn't be worn anymore. And one of the reasons I did that is because I paid so much money for it. But when it came, it was a lot like this. Very heavy thing, very long. And I just thought I looked old. So what I do is, is I have scissors that are like this. I got them at Sally Beauty back in the day. And I take these curls. Which way is it going? This way. And I just twist them, twist them, twist them. And I learned this by watching Patty Patty's Boots by Patty's Pearls back in the day. And so I have it really twisted. And I, instead of going this way, I'm going to go at an angle and just take a little bit off. And just cut, cut, cut at an angle and pull some off. Maybe do a little more. Not across, but up like that. Just these curls right here. Not across, but at an angle. And because it has those teeth, it makes it kind of a little bit of a fight, which is good because then I can't get too much. So it was just this curl right here in front. So just doing the one brings it up for me up to here. This one is still longer. And had I left it longer, I feel like it would be dragging me down. And I, I already have enough dragging me down. <laughs> so just that little bit right there, bringing this one up just a tiny bit right there, I feel makes me look lighter, lifted, more lifted. I may take this one here and I just twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it. Don't go across, but go at an angle and just cut, 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 and keep cutting, and it'll cut through. Just a tiny bit at a time, because you don't want to go too far, too much. So just those two little curls here and there brought all this up, and see how this is still looking really down. Now, if you do this, you do this at your own risk. Don't come for me in the comments. Okay. So this side, I think they're going backwards. So I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself, but the camera's over there, so I just don't wanna screw it up. So I twist it all up really good. And it's going to spring back up, which is why I don't want to take too much. Don't go across. Don't go blunt. Go at an angle. So I just have this much like that. I'm going to go at an angle. Not across, but at an angle. not across at an angle. And I tell myself that every time I do it too. And you know why? Because one time I went across. <laughs> so if you love this style, but you feel like it's too youthful, not maybe age appropriate, that's what Patty's used to say at Wigs by Patty's Pearls, not across. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more. This is one way to bring up the sides on a side that you really, really love and bring your whole lifted effect. So. Hope this isn't getting too boring. Not across, but up and down just a tiny bit. Not across, up and down at a diagonal. Just a tiny bit, see? Now, it's brought
brought it up. Now this for me makes this much more wearable. This is the one that Denise gave me, English tea. Let's change the part. And this is kind of cute. I mean, this is kind of cute, but a lot of us don't like the forehead to show. I can't believe it, but I've actually kind of gotten used to it. But if I didn't, which at the time I had my Julianne, I wasn't into showing my forehead and all this stuff. So uh, it bugged the heck out of me to see it. And so I know that there are some of us who want the bangs, the fringe. So with this one, just right here in front. Just a tiny, tiny bit here in front. Because you can always go back and get more. But it won't grow back. And this isn't a very inexpensive wig. In fact, I think this costs quite more than I would want to spend. All right. So Patty taught me how to make a dirty bang. Pull those down super straight. There's my nose. And you twist them either way one time. One time. I hold it at the tip of my nose because this is going to come off. And this is the time that you go straight across. You can always go back and cut more. But you twist one time and you cut straight across. Okay, now these are gonna be a little curly because they were curled to go one way or another, but they're gonna bounce back up. And that's how I did my Julian that I paid so much money for. <laughs> I had worn it to the coast, uh, to the AT&T Pro-Am, Bill Murray actually walked right up to me because I was standing at the ropes watching him take a swing and they would walk down the fairway and he walked right up to me in my Julianne and said, how are you doing, blue eyes? I couldn't believe it. Um, and I felt so horrible in this heavy, heavy, weighted, weighted hair that um, I went back to the hotel room and I just started hacking on these things. And I hacked that bang in it and I didn't do it really that great. And, but I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't think that I wanted anybody else to see me in that pulled down, how I felt so pulled down. So that's how I deal with my bangs. So typically on straighter bangs, What I will do is I will cut into them straight up. To trim them up a little bit. And now you could take some heat if you wanted to. Let's see if I can flip the part. Let's see if I flip the part if this is any better. If you really wanted to see that, which is pretty wide. I mean, the, the lace on this, the side part is really wide. So you can part anywhere in there. And it goes all the way back to here. And I love a, a deep side part, so that could get some curls 
up and over to the side. And now I got those bangs. So, uh, let's see, someone else asked me, do I know of a site that you could go to if you buy a wig and you wear it a few times and then you realize, yeah, this just isn't working? Um, I know my, my sister Chrissy, who gifts me, has gifted me the other Mia wig and uh, the Storyville for Christmas. And uh, she got one more for me. I'm going to show you. Not today. I'm going to make you wait. Um, but she sells hers on eBay. Um, she, I know she struggles with uh, getting them back and not in the best shape. And uh, there are uh, Facebook groups, I believe. Wig Wisdom might be one that you can use if you get it. Or if, if you're like me, I don't want to sell them. Um, I just have never wanted to spend the time to ship it out and, you know, I, I just figured there'll always be something wrong with it. If I didn't like it and there was something wrong with it for me, then it's going to be something wrong with it for someone else. So, uh, I, I just keep them and try to make them like I wanted in the manufacturer's photo, trying to manage my expectations. So I feel like now this is something I could actually wear and this is actually with that side part, but it's so dark. I, it, I don't even know if you can see the the lace. And I'm a right-hand parter anyway. So the bangs have kind of changed the style of it. So you get the overall beachy wave. It brings it up here. So when I look at myself in my reflection, I feel like it has bounced me up and lifted me up, but I didn't have to do too much around it to keep it looking the same style that I see, that I want. So if you decide to do this, my biggest, my biggest suggestion would be for you to put on a wig grip so that it is not going to move at all. I've had a lot of uh, comments that I've read say, how do you have the confidence to do this? I wish I had your confidence. Well, I know this thing ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I know that, in fact, I was in my trunk of my car getting stuff and I went to raise up and I felt it catch on the top of the hood and start to pull, but I could tell it wasn't coming off. So you want to make sure you feel that thing is not going to slide off no matter what if you're gonna cut it on your head. <laughs> um, go really slow. I, I didn't cut more than, you know, little tiny bits off these curls at a time. Little tiny, tiny bits, because you can always go back in and do more. And same with the fringe, just like if it was your own hair. And that just might, save you the, the stress unless it's the wrong color but even these colors um this one's english tea um this one's mocha gold if the color's right but the style's just not where you want it you can try to get some height in here if you have any bio hair to get that up high in the top which i don't have right now but you can get in there and pull that permatease up or try just tiny little modifications, which again, I don't like to do anymore, but in a pinch, it can be a game changer. And so now I think this is more age appropriate for someone that is in their 60s, um, because now it doesn't have all that long, long length down here. And it's gonna give you more life in your wig because it's not gonna get as mass, mass, masked up on the bottom. <laughs> So I hope this was fun to watch. And if you have any comments or any tips of your own, I'd love to hear them. Leave me a comment down below. And if you did like this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join me all throughout 2020. We'll talk soon.